Hello, welcome to Valve channel. I'm Stephen. Uh, last two videos, we already talking about the valve size and the valve pressure. So today, let's talk about the valve material. So in valve industry, we have a lot of different material. The reason why we're using different material to make a valve, because we have different uh, uh, flow control system. So different flow control system has different uh, situation. The fluid will has different pressure different uh, temperature or some uh, float is uh, corrosive so we need to choose the correct material to make a valve to make sure the system will safely to work so before we're talking about uh, the material I want to show several uh, photos from a valve manufacturing to see how many uh, different material will appear on valve manufacturing for example this is a gate valve Gate valve body. So this valve body made by WCB, WCB, and the next one is a check valve. This is a check valve. This check valve, the material is CF8M, is stainless steel check valve, 10 inch, 600 pressure class. And uh, this one is a power plant gate valve. Power plant gate valve. So this kind of valve always working in very high temperature and high pressure environment. So the size is 6 inch, the pressure is 900 class, the material is WC6. And the next one is, this is a, a gate valve body, it's a very big gate valve body. It's 24 inch, 115 pressure class, the material is WCB. And all those body are all casting. All those body are made by casting process. And except casting, we also has a forging, forge material, like uh, this one. This is a forged material body. This body made by A105. A105 is one kind of a carbon steel material. And the next one is little bit special, this bo valve body made by F12. F12. F12 is one kind of high temperature carbon steel, can work in very high temperature environment. And also the body is forged, so this body will be very strong and very solid to work in very high temperature and environment, a very high temperature and pressure environment. And the last one is, uh, I think that's very very expensive and very powerful material. It's called a F191. F191. Also, it's a very common material you can see in the power plant, power plant valve. So this valve body can be a gate valve, or also can be a global valve body. So those valve body are all made by different uh, different material. So the reason why we have a lot of different material and uh, using different process to make the verb body. So that's the topic we are going to talk about today. So before we talking about the material in ASME B16.34, I want to give you several basic information about uh, uh, what is steel and uh, how many different steel in ASME B16.34. So on Earth, the most common element for human being to make a metal, the element is ferrin. Ferrin is very easy to find on Earth. And the symbol for ferrin is Fe. But actually, ferrin is very soft material. It is not suitable to make a mechanical component. So the pioneer engineer really want to change the ferrin's property to make the ferrin more stronger and more solid. So we find another element. If we put carbon, carbon element inside ferrin, we mix two elements together, we can make a very strong material, which can make a mechanical component. So we call this kind of material is steel. So commonly, steel contained almost 200% uh, uh, to 2% carbon inside steel. So that is a steel coming from. So in, in valve industry, the most common uh, material is carbon steel. 
So commonly we have WCB and the WCC. This is carbon steel. Those carbon steel is uh, made by casting. So if you if your valve body is made by casting process, so that material will be WCB and WCC. But if your valve body is made by forging, you need to use another code. It's called a A105. A105. So carbon steel is the most common material in valve industry. But carbon steel had a lot of weakness. For example, if we want the valve working in high temperature environment, high temperature means the temperature higher than 400 Celsius degree, that is equals 715 Fahrenheit degree. If the temperature higher than this temperature, the, the heat will weak the WCB's mechanical strengths. So scientists really want to find another kind of steel can work in high temperature environment. So we put some other element to change the carbon steel property. So finally, we get uh, WC6 and WC9. Those material also is uh, casting material. We're using casting process to make valve body. So if you want a forging process to make a valve body, of course, forging is more, more solid and more stronger. Will make the body more stronger. So we have uh, F12 and uh, F F11, F12 and F11. So those material is carbon steel, high temperature carbon steel material. And also we want the material can work in low temperature environment. So we improved the carbon steel property by change the element inside the carbon steel. We put some maybe other kind of element. So we get the low temperature steel. So low temperature steel can work in around uh, the temperature lower than minus 20 Celsius degree or minus 4 and equal minus 4 Fahrenheit degree. So we get uh, LCB and LCC. LCB and LCC. But LCC and LCB don't have the code for 14 in ASME big 16.34. Maybe uh, most of the time we don't need the forging body for working in low temperature environment. If the material, if you really want a material working in low temperature environment and also very stronger, most of the time the engineer will going to choose the stainless steel because stainless steel can work in very low uh, temperature environment and also it's much stronger than the LCB, but also it's more expensive than LCB. So, those material will all get corrosive if those material working in corrosive medium flow control system. So scientists looking for another kind of steel will, which will never get corrosive. So we call that kind of steel is stainless steel. So we have CF8 and CF3. Those material is casting material. If you use forging to make a valve body, we have like uh, 316 and 304, 316 and 304. So those four groups actually already covered around uh, at least 18% of material in valve industry. So that these four groups are very important in valve industry. If you understand those four group material, you are very good to choosing a material in valve industry. So next, let's look at uh, uh, the real material table in ASME B16.34. This is a material list from ASME B16.34. It is a very important material list in valve industry because in this material list, it almost cover all the material in valve industry. So if you are valve design engineer, if you are going to design a valve, you really need to get familiar with all those materials. So that will be very helpful for you when you're going to design a valve. So let's look at this table. So before we're talking about this table, let's look at uh, the table's name. Table 1, Material Specification List. Applicable, ASTEM Specification. So what is ASTEM? ASTAN is another standard called American Society for Testing Material. So what is the difference between ASME and ASTAN? 
ASME is one kind of standard going to teach engineer how to design a valve. For example, the design engineer can use an ASME standard to find out what is the inside dimension and what is the valve form and what is the valve body wall thickness. So those kind of information you can find in ASME. But if you are asking what is WCB, how to make a WCB, what kind of element inside WCB? So this kind of question, you need to look for another standard, which is called ASTEM. So that is the difference between ASME standard and ASTEM standard. ASME is a valve design standard. ASTEM is a material standard. So that is a different. And also in this material table, all those material names are made by ASTEM, not ASME. So let's look at uh, one ASTEM material standard first. So we can understand the ASTEM standard deeply, and then we are going to talk about this table. This is standard ASTEM A216. It is a very important standard in valve industry because the most common material, WCB, are belong to this standard. So WCB is one kind of casting carbon steel, just like this gate valve body. This gate valve body made by WCB. So that means this gate valve body made by casting carbon steel. So if you ask what is WCB, and does this valve made by corrected material WCB? So you need to find the answer in this standard. So most of the time, Aston standards are very, very thin. This standard just has four pages, just four pages, but it already includes enough information for people to make a WCB. So the most important table for us to understand the WCB located in the second page. This is a chemical requirement page. So using this page, you will understand the material deeply. So how many different elements inside WCB and also you can use in this table to check does the valve body made by correct material. And also you can see not just the WCB, this asked me Oh, sorry, ASTEN A216, it contained three kind of material, WCA, WCB, and WCC. So it include, uh, it, it include three kind of material. So that is the basic principle for people to use this uh, ASTEN standard. And except uh, A216, we also has another one, it's a forging carbon steel. Forging carbon steel, just like uh, this valve body. This valve body is made by forging process. The name is uh, A105. So what is A105? So let's look at uh, the standard Aston A105. So the reason why we just put uh, the standard name on the valve body because in this standard just include one kind of standard. So when you look at the second page, it already shows the chemical requirement table. So you can use in this table to check does this valve body made by correct A105 material. So that is the basic principle for people to use ASTEM standard. I hope you already understand. So let's look at uh, the ASME material list table again. So let's look at the material list table again. We are already talking about the ASTEM standard and also we already understand how ASTEM is going to make different material names. So those names are all made by ASTEM. So let's look at uh, the table again. This table is already divided to several different vertical groups. The first vertical group called a material group number from 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 until the last page is 3.18. Those numbers are not just a serious number. Those numbers are very important, which is going to connect with another table, which is called a temperature pressure rating table. For example, the group 1.1 is the first group. And the last group is 3.18. So the group is 3.18. The material in both groups is the same. The material in both groups is the same. So, 
The first vertical side is going to connect uh, with the temperature pressure reading table. And uh, we already talking about that kind of thing in preview video. So I'm not going to mention that again. So next uh, part we call it is a uh, nominal designation. Nominal designation. So in this part, the table is going to tell you what kind of element inside this kind of material. So that is also very easy to understand. And then the next one, two, three, four, five group are divided to different process. The different process to make the solid metal form. Because we're using different process to make the solid metal form, for example, the verb body. We can casting a verb body or forging a verb body. So that is the reason why we divide it to several different groups. So also we have different standard name for different process. So before we already talking about the four group of material, and each group material has two way to get the solid metal form. For example, the WCB is casting, A105 is forging. So I already write down all the standard name for each material name. For example, the WCB standard name is A216. So WCB is A216. And also WC6. WC6. The standard name is A217. So the standard name is A217. And also like uh, the stainless steel CF8 and CF3. That belong to standard A351. So A351. So next I'm going to make a video talking about each group of material. So this is for today. I hope you already understand this table, the material list table in Ask Me B6.34. And next I'm going to make several different videos to talk about each group of material one by one. Thank you for your watching. Bye bye.